Center on Japanese Economy and Business, which we call CJEB, is a research and educational uh, institution, part of the Columbia Business School, focusing on the Japanese economy and its business systems and uh, the political economy in an attempt to educate Americans and others about uh, this really interesting and important country and its economy. When Hugh arrived at Columbia, there literally was no program on Japanese economy, and he founded it with some startup funds, and slowly over the years transformed it into the world's premier center focusing on Japanese business. Professor Patrick created CJEB, and CJEB is a premier research center in the United States, in fact, in the world on the Japanese economy and Japan in the world. He has brought together scholars and practitioners and business leaders. They've done research, endless conferences in Japan, in the United States. It has been an amazing convener. It has created a next generation of scholars. It has maintained deep engagement with Japan throughout these 30 years. There's nothing like it. What Hugh brings to an understanding of Japan is a real deep understanding of economics, but also a very deep understanding of, of Japan, of the institutions of Japan, of the history of Japan. It's one of the things that makes it so interesting to talk to you is that uh, I'm always learning something new. CJEB has had enormous impact uh, here at Columbia, but even more important to me in the business community here and in Japan. At Columbia, it's brought a rich set of courses and availability for students to learn more and travel to Japan and supports research on Japan. But in the business community, it's really supported events that have disseminated Japanese culture and economic institutions to an American audience, but also brought American business people and economists to Japan. Virtually no other university has accomplished so much. In Japan, CJEB has a prominent place for the center doing Japanese studies and research. Those who want to get a feedback from the American scholars and researchers, uh, they often uh, contact us and say they want to give a talk. Part of activity, we have a U.S.-Japan discussion. This is held uh, almost once a quarter. We Sumitomo, we host that event, introduce uh, Japanese business leaders, just uh, informal discussion, that deepened understanding and uh, overcome uh, misunderstanding between the two countries. From the very beginning, we learned at CGEP that we should have a relatively large staff and because that enabled us to carry out more programs and projects and activities. Working for the center is such a thrill and an honor. Our team believes in our mission, and we truly enjoy our work. We look forward to the next 30 years. One of the most wonderful things about CJEB is that it's always changing. It's always reflecting what is most current about U.S.-Japan economic relationships and Japanese business. I think over the, the coming decades, I'm confident that CJEB will play an important role but the key to CJEB having played a critical role in the past has been the quality of its leadership. So the future really depends on ensuring that there is outstanding talent, outstanding leadership at the helm of CJEB. I'm excited to see David Weinstein lead CJEB into the future. First of all, he's a fantastic economist who's had great work in international trade and international economics. He also is very knowledgeable about Japanese economic institutions. He will be very successful, as has been Hugh Patrick, in building a bridge between Japanese scholars and American scholars, and Japanese business people and American business people. One of the unique features of CJEB is its longevity. A lot of universities invested in programs on Japanese economy or business in the 1980s, but then when Japan's economy began to decline in the 1990s, Many, in fact practically all universities, pulled the plug on their programs. One of the unique features of CJEB is that it's been there for the long haul. And as a result, we've developed a lot of institutional capacity and institutional knowledge about Japan that just is lacking at any other university. As we look to the future, it's really important that business leaders continue to support scholarship 
on the Japanese economy and Japan in the world, and scholarship on U.S.-Japan economic relations. So my hope is that with this strong base, it will continue to engender support from Japanese companies, American companies, and international organizations that care about the evolution of the Japanese economy in Japan and the world, and the next generation of scholars.